What's going on, MGTOW? And what's going on, Red Pill? Back at you with another video. <laughs> and I like to talk about a woman I came across in 2005. Um, that was a single mother. I mean, she probably still is. I don't know. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. But, um, but yeah, man. You see, what you guys need to know is not get serious with these single mothers. I mean, it's recommended to not date them at all. That's true, okay? I mean, now, if you come across a single mother that already have grown-ass kids and, you know, they don't have that kind of connection with them anymore, then I guess that's okay. But do not have anything serious with them. Don't expect... Do, do not fucking marry them. Do not cohabitate with them. And nor to even have kids with the damn women. All right? See... What would be the plus is that they cannot have any more kids so you could you know not think much about a condom and you just bust up inside them and feel good because yo that is a damn good feeling to bust up inside a woman especially knowing that they cannot get pregnant all right but um the same thing with her yeah she can't get pregnant i mean she had her tubes tied fine by me shit so i did bang the fuck out of her but her mouth felt better see this woman here man she she sucked me off real fucking good she did. I mean, you know, she got that pumpkin face thing going there. <laughs> Which uh, a friend of mine that I showed this picture to um, pretty much gave her a name, which was Pumpkin Face. But yeah, I mean, this was like one of the first few white women I've came across. And, you know, it was like an exciting moment because, you know, the personality was more mellow, you know, didn't have to deal with the ghetto attitude and shit. So she was quite decent. She was like a small town woman all right so and weekend i had with her was cool how did i meet her um it was off of interracial chat rooms that yahoo had years back and she had hit me up and when we talked a little bit you know she asked me um well she didn't ask me she told me that you know you should come down here for some southern loving yeah so this was after a little conversation we had so i was like all right yeah well in due time it'll be cool and as we did our talking and um you know, shared pictures and everything, and, you know, I planned it, you know, I went ahead and bought a ticket to go see her, and that first weekend we had was cool. Um, yes, and to mind you, what had inspired me to make this video was by, um, the video that, um, Mr. Lee and Mike the MGTOW man had made in regards of don't day single mothers. <laughs> yeah, man, so, uh, it's true, you don't really want to date these single mothers, but for some reason, you want to. Play your cards right, man. Do not be serious with them. Kick it with them at a more companionship level, okay? Do not even think about marriage, I'm telling you right now. Fuck that shit. You don't want to think about marriage for any fucking women today, all right? Because the, the system is rigged. You don't want to have to pay alimony. And if you get these bitches pregnant, man, yo, you, you're going to regret ever paying child support. I'm telling you. All right. You come across a woman, and if you trust that she have, that she cannot get pregnant anymore, yo, by all means, have your fun. You know? If you choose not to, that's that's cool, too. I'm telling you. This chick here, man, yo, she did suck me off really very, very good. She did. She was, like, maybe the first woman, as well as white woman, to suck me off with, at, um, without me having to stroke. Yo, she sucked me dry. Yo, so I bust all up inside her mouth. And she was expecting that. She, that's what she liked. Okay. Uh, oh, man. Mm. So, yeah. So, now, here's the thing. Months down the line, you know, there was a second time I saw her again. She came to see me. And that time was cool, too. She sucked me off dry. Yeah, it felt damn good. She used to like sucking my dick. And that was a good thing. Then it came a third time where I have booked a flight a month and a half before the trip. Two days before the trip, she then tells me that she has no one to watch her daughter. And I'm like, what? Yeah, so I couldn't come down there. That fucked me up because I wasted money. 
Now, she felt a little nice to pay me for part of the cancellation fee, but I didn't know what else to do with that ticket, so I was fucked. All right, so I was pretty much at a loss of a ticket. And I got pissed. I ain't talked with her for a while, but a little while later, she kept in contact with me. This day and the other. She even talked about wanting to see me again, and then, uh, yeah, I wasn't too sure about that. <laughs> but anyways, yo, listen, do not be serious with these single mothers, man, okay? And she was mainly a test drive. It felt good, though, I, w I will say. But yeah, I was more disappointed that I lost that fucking ticket than to, um, than to not see her. Um, all right, well, Red Pill, hope you learned enough. And to your men of MGTOW, including myself, you stay in MGTOW.